Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to learn about creating a single one-to-many relationship using Prisma. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. In this example, let us consider a scenario where a user can have the multiple posts, but each post belongs to one user. Okay, so for that one, we have to create a schema.prisma that with the help of the npx generate in it. So what will happen? It will initialize your prisma. Okay, so if you want, if you don't have, have this prisma file, then you have to generate this one, initialize this prisma file. Okay, and you if you haven't know how to create this one, you have to watch the previous videos. Okay, so this is the uh, prisma schema. Okay, here we go with this Prisma, Schema Prisma. So here we have created the model, user and the post. Okay, and here the database, we are using the MySQL, right? So here you can see that we have to define the user model. First, we have the ID that is auto incremented. Then we have an email that is unique Then a relationship model. Okay, posts. Then we have to define the post model again with the ID auto generated auto generated title of the post, content of the post, then foreign key, the referencing, foreign key referencing the user's model's ID. Then we have user ID and then the relationship to the user model, relationship to the user model, how we can define the uh, specifying the foreign key and the reference. Okay, so here we are referencing and specifying as a foreign key also user ID. Okay, so here we have the much more clear look of that one so user model and the post model id that is auto incremented email that is email address unique string representing the email address of the user posts a relationship to the post model indicating one to one one to many relationships the other relationship attributes specify the name of the relationship and the foreign key referencing references with the user id then we have a post model id title content and the user ID, foreign key referencing the user's model's ID. Then we have a user, a relationship to the user's model specifying the foreign key, user ID, and the references user ID, this establishing one-to-one -one one -to -many relationships between the user and the post. Here you can see. If I go over here, you can see, then we have first we have a user schema, user model, ID, email, and the post. Then we have the post id title content user id and the user so this is this is reference with this one model and user id and the references will go with the id so this is the schema that we have built okay in this schema each user can have the multiple post and each post belongs to exactly to one user and the user id field in the post model is used as a foreign key to establish the relationship between the user and the post okay the user model has one to many relationship with the post model through the post field how the user model relationship with the posts field okay and the post model has a foreign key user id that references the id field in the user model the other relationship attributes specify the relationship between the two models okay then we have to create how to create that one with the users and the model so this is the how to create the new user with the post let's try to create this one okay so here we have this one so i have just clean everything so let's go and my generate okay then we are going to do the migrate so first of all let me clean the migrations delete that one and let me go to this one okay yes users whatever name you want to give done let's start the server node server.js let's create the user with posts so let's try to create this one let's try to send this okay now you can see that the return with the post you can here, here you can see if i go to the code base here you can see right const a way to use prisma then we have a post first data email then we have a post create post and in, if you want to fetch the user with the post then you have to include post to be true okay 
this is done and if i want to get the data with this one then i need to just get this one id over here to get the particular record i think that is uh, one id right so let's me get the user's detail okay so here we go with the issue what exactly it is true specify the scalar field in the profile so here we have the data i think this i have already added this is missed i supposed so let me add this one data of that user id so let's copy this because i think i haven't updated the code so this is the previous one right so let me add this okay save this and let's try to run this node server.js and let's try to go and just check this one okay here you can see so from the user table we are going to prove email id for the post so whatever the post link with that user is coming over here so it's very easy to to make the relationship that is user can have the the, this create the one to many relationships right here you can see so what we have learned so far so i will explain again so we in this in this we have the each user can have the multiple posts that we have already seen let's go to the database and i will show you the relationships so here you can see that the user they and if i go to the structure so here only the primary key primary is id unique is email if i go to the post model and here you can see that the foreign key that is user id so whatever the post user you want you have created the reference will go as a foreign key into the post table and let's go and select the data here you can see and the user id is bind it over here you when i click on this it will redirect to that user okay so this is how we have created one to many relationship using prisma in node shares any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day